First of all, what is the Business Contact Manager? Well, it's an add-in program for Outlook to help you keep track of your business information as opposed to more personal information that you can find in your contacts folder. Think of it like more businessy fields in the Business Contact Manager, or I'll refer to it in short as the BCM. In fact, up at the top, when you install it, you'll have the BCM menu, BCM toolbar, and the BCM data file, and I'll show you in just a second, uh, BCM contacts. That will be separate from your main contacts or my contacts. First of all, let's find out how the info in the BCM is stored as. Come up here and click on the BCM menu, and you'll see it here. And the information in the BCM is stored as accounts, business contacts, all the way down to communication history. Now the purpose of this training video, as far as the introduction to the BCM, is to be able to link or create a connection between your BCM records that I'm going to show you how to create in just a second, and all the other Outlook items here that include business notes, phone logs, tasks, mail messages or appointments, or non-Outlook items like files, your Word documents, your Excel spreadsheets, and so on. Now the first thing I want to do is to create my first business contact in the BCM. To get started, come over here, click on the Contacts folder, and as you're already familiar with, we have our default contacts here. And then down below you have a new section, a BCM section, that will contain your accounts in the BCM and your business contacts in the BCM. Of course, if I select Business Contacts, I have none here, because I just installed the BCM. Now, I can either create new business contacts here by, of course, clicking on the New Contact button, or if I want to use some of my contacts from my Contacts folder, I can just simply move them over or make a copy of them. To make a copy, simply go ahead and select the contact here, hold down the control key and then click and drag and hover over the business contacts and notice the little plus sign next to my pointer. That means it's going to create a copy. When I let go of the mouse and I go to the business contacts in the BCM, well, there it is. Of course, the other way of doing this, the long way, go back to your contacts folder, select your contact, come up here, select edit, go down to copy, then of course go back to your business contacts and then edit to paste and there you go. Now again as a quick review back in my contacts folder when I double click and open up a contact this is the screen that you're familiar with and you can see the tab is contact whereas when I close out and I go to my business contacts and I double click and open up a contact it's now a business contact and of course we have a lot more fields here some are the same some are different in fact what we're missing here is the big notes field where we can type in notes related to this contact. Well, if you want to be able to type notes in the uh, business contact, then you need to come up here on the business contact tab to the show group and click on its history. And here you can create business notes one of two ways. You can either click on the new button, and there's your business note, or come up here again on the business contact tab to the communicate group and click on the new item history and go down and click on business note opens up a new screen here and we can say for the subject is to fax Melanie and then down below a bit more detailed you can also add a timestamp which is always nice if I hit the space bar and click on add timestamp puts in today's date and today's time which is really helpful think of it this way not only is business contacts good for your clients but the way I like using it is let me hit enter a couple of times anytime I make a call to let's say a vendor I'll go ahead and add a timestamp and then type in my notes called sprockets which supply uh, let's say microchips or something and then I'll type in who I talked to everything we discussed and then save it because then later on if I have issues with uh, one of their products I can call them back and say hey look back on June 12th at 934 a.m. I called you guys and your rep uh, Billy said that there wouldn't be a problem the more knowledge you have that you have down the more power you have I can't tell you how many times I called up some of the vendors that I let them know who I previously discussed uh, the products with at a specific date and time, how that really gets them motivated, knowing that I'm keeping track of everything. In any case, let me go ahead and delete that. When I'm finished, I can go ahead and click Save and Close, and this will automatically link up to this business contact in the BCM. And then notice, I saved out of the note, not the actual business contact you see here itself. I'm still on the History tab, and there's the business note down below. And you can see it's grouped by date. So there's today's date, tomorrow, this will move to a different group for tomorrow, and then one week, two weeks, and so on. And of course, this isn't different than all the other training videos I showed you on how to customize these views. You can right click on one of the headers here, go to Arrange By, and you can see it's by date, and it's showing in groups. Of course, if I uncheck that, now I just have a little note, and it's still arranged by date. 
with the newest or the latest up at the top and the older ones um, filed underneath it down below. Now that you know how to create a business note, the next thing I want to show you is to how to link up other items like your email, your documents or spreadsheets. And the purpose for linking your items to this business contact is so that you can come here in the history in one screen and be able to pull up everything there without having to go to your exercise folder on the desktop to pull up a spreadsheet, going to the inbox to pull up a related message tied to this client here, Melanie. Instead, like I said, it's all in one view. So let's go ahead and get started and let's link up one of our email messages to Melanie here. I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Close and let's go to our mail folder up here to the inbox. Select the email message that's related to that client, like let's say Melanie is talking about new computers that Carrie, my assistant, is emailing me about. So I can go ahead and select the email message. Up here on the BCM toolbar, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Link to Record button. And it's going to take that message and it's going to link it to not the accounts folder but the uh, business contacts folder. Remember how we had two folders in the BCM accounts and then below that the uh, business contacts? Well there we go and we want to link it to Melanie Curtis go ahead and click on link to or just double click to add her name down below and then click OK and it's done. How do I know? Well let's go back to our contacts into our business contacts folder here double click and open up Melanie go to the history screen and there it is, the email message is linked. So I can double click and open up in this view and read all about these computers here and I just realize this has nothing to do with Melanie. So if I close out and I right click on it and I say delete, does it delete it from the inbox or does it just delete it from the history? Again this is just a link so if I go back to my Outlook program to my mail folder the message is still in my inbox. Excellent, let's go back to my business contact here Finally, if we want to be able to link this to other files like spreadsheets or documents, you can either come up here and click on the New History item, drop down arrow, and go to File, or you can click on the New button here. I'm going to go to my Desktop, to my Exercise folder, and let's say it's this document here. Double click on it, give it a second or two to pull up that file, and then of course when you're finished be sure to save your work. So again, once I link it up, I can keep track of all my items in here including files that are on my desktop in different folders and not have to open up 20 different folders. One view for all the items that are related to this business contact which is Melanie Curtis. And I can double click to open that up. It will give me a warning. It says do you trust this? Well of course I do and click OK. And as you recall this document in a previous training video we used to link to our Outlook database to do a mail merge. I'll just go ahead and say yes to pull it in. What coding? Well it's going to be in English here. I'm okay with that. Click OK and the document pulls up without me having to, of course again let me close out of here, minimizing my program, going to the exercise folder, double click to open that up to double click and open up the mail merge document. It's basically that simplistic. When you're done, be sure to save and go ahead and close out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.